In 2015, our barn burnt down. From that rubble, we built Burning Barn Rum, a rum forged from fire, crafted with uncompromising quality. The fire taught us to never settle. As the hospitality sector faces an uphill climb post-COVID, we sit with bartenders, entrepreneurs, and businesses from across the West Midlands to talk about how they are building a better future from the ashes. Although resilient and innovative, the hospitality sector is still one of the most wasteful industries in the world. For example, in the UK in 2019, pubs and restaurants alone produced 1,789,200 tonnes of waste, all headed to the landfill. And as more restaurants and bars begin to deliver, this stat only gets worse. Amidst London's cleaner air, whilst dolphins swam in the canals of Venice, as commentators hailed a great environmental recovery, waste increased primarily due to consumers' erratic and unpredictable takeaway ordering patterns. And the worst thing is, even with Theresa May's almighty war on straws, single-use plastic waste is still a sizeable chunk of this. Yes, those items that we use for a matter of minutes that last on this earth for several hundred years. You may object to this reality, particularly given the fact we've had to adjust to drinking through soggy bits of paper, but single-use plastic still dominates the waste that the hospitality industry churns out. And to add insult to injury, the government have delayed their ban on plastic straws and stirrers from April 2020 to October. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Businesses in Brum are leading from the front, adopting sustainable procedures that don't undermine their profits to build back a better future post-COVID. We begin with Birmingham Brewery. I could tell you the story of how they started, but since I tended to get in the way more than I helped... Sorry. Here's Paul, the founder, to do a better job. I got into beer and brewing as a student when I uh, lived in a house with eight other lads and we wanted to be well stocked with beer for as cheaply as possible. And then brewing became a hobby and a passion for me. It was something that I carried on doing after university when I went and worked for a bank. I'd worked for the bank for a few years and was made redundant and this dream of owning my own brewery became a bit more of a reality because I had a bit of a redundancy package and some savings which I could either invest in a brewery or invest in having fun. One of the brewery's core values is social responsibility. This has led the brewery to take on sustainable practices when producing their wonderful beer. For example, with their spent grains. Given to a local farmer who feeds them to his cattle they're not going to the landfill they use and the, the cows really enjoy them because they do get slightly alcoholic. So when the cows see our white bags uh, being loaded into the troughs in the fields, they run over and um, have a little, little bit of a fight so they can get on the, uh, the boozy grains. And also making the decision to can their beers. It's rather than bottle them for small pack because cans are 100% and infinitely recyclable. A can weighs only 10 grams, so it's a lot cheaper to transport and has less, less carbon footprint. And they can be stacked a lot more efficiently than bottles, so they take up less storage space when they are being transported. So if you need a drink after all of this remote working, here's Paul with an invitation. We brew the beers behind us in the brewery and we serve them here on Fridays and Saturdays where you can come and visit and try a pint with no travel distance whatsoever. And it's not only breweries. Brum-based Michelin-starred Carters of Mosley is reinventing the way restaurants deal with waste. Remember that thing that the hospitality industry produces nearly 2 million tonnes of each year? Well, Brad Carter's menus change daily, working with farmers in their urban allotments to follow the natural rhythm of the seasons, using what's there and what's local to limit waste and emissions. But beyond this, sustainability is in the DNA of this restaurant. It's literally in everything they do. For example, Carter's gift the plastic bags used for sous viding to a company that converts them into children's plastic toys, all to raise money for hospitality workers who are trying to get back on their feet. A pretty cool place to eat. And the doors just reopened on the 2nd of September. We know what it's like to see what you've built burn to the ground. But in the face of massive adversity with the hospitality sector hanging pretty precariously, Birmingham is pushing on, pioneering to make sure that we are building back better. So do your bit, check out these amazing local businesses, grab a six pack of recyclable cans from the Birmingham Brewing Company, held together with the cardboard top, not single-use plastic. 
Or, if you're a student like me and can't necessarily afford the Michelin star experience, Carters and Mosley have a shop where you can support their business and grab yourself something cool too. So as we head into another season with this virus, support brand-based businesses who are building back better. And stay safe.